Hey guys, I'm going to review what a Victoria's Secret model eats in a day. I like to eat. Why do you have to fake this for a video? Noise! Good morning people! I am so amazed how beautiful this morning is. Welcome back to another video of mine. This time is gonna be your favorite, favorite video. She looks mega Russian. Video, what I did in a day, I haven't done it in forever. So stay tuned guys, today will be a lot of eating, cooking, a lot of fun stuff. I'm gonna rush quickly to the shower now, get dressed and drive Allegra to school. Look at that neck. Ugh. Victoria's Secret models are usually not that thin, or am I wrong? I don't think so. Right before I drive her to school because everything is just too rushed, so I just have a juice and a coffee. And then later on if I come back... That would explain why she's so skinny. She's not just thin, she's actually kinda underweight, I would say. Almost, at least. Okay, and I'm hungry, I'll eat. If not, then I'll skip. So depending also on my schedule, like if I have enough time to eat lunch, then I usually would have very, very light breakfast or no breakfast at all, just juice and coffee. So it's not, not really, I'm not following any diets. I'm not counting calories. It's like way past me. I've done this modeling days where I used to be on strict diets. So all my days, like if you take all the videos of what I eat in a day, they're all so different. Like some of them more richer in, probably in calories, some of them less richer in calories. Oh, it's Adam's family time. That's cool. She has a child, that's nice. I'm on my way to drop a lager off to school, so I just have one minute. So I always have a green juice in the morning and an espresso or I'll make a cappuccino depending on my mood. And then I will come back and if I'm really hungry, I'll have a breakfast, so cheers! That's basically starvation and really an eating disorder. It's very connected to eating disorders because you're not actually getting anything substantial, anything that gives you proper real energy, but instead you get, uh, of course, stress hormones from the coffee. And really from these green drinks, it's very similar because they stress the body in a similar way because of the toxins in them and give you a boost or energy which of course it isn't obviously the best kind of breakfast for a human in the morning would be a very fatty animal based uh, meal needless to say and i actually put their collagen pearl powder that i've been using for about two months by agent nature it's a really really good high quality collagen powder and i've been really loving the results of like how my nail grows how my skin is like more clear more your nails look fake <laughs> it's so nice Daddy, Mommy, and Allegra, right? And do you want to take your toy as well? Adam's family toy? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so she will have an actual breakfast now at least. The two eggs are great. I don't know what she's making there. Okay, the milk is special, obviously, but uh, it's better than any... Almond milk, for example. As far as cooked food goes, this is a good breakfast. What can I say? I think that she needs to eat a little bit more, but other than that, oh, of course, there's an avocado incoming. <laughs> Okay, the avocado is pointless, you could also just eat more eggs. There's really no point because you're getting fat-soluble vitamins and everything you need to be healthy from the eggs and also the cheese, but then adding the avocado is just empty calories, which you could actually fill up with something substantial, which would be more eggs. A little bit of bread? Bread with what? Raisins? What is that? Thank you. 
If you would leave out the bread, but of course Russians are obsessed with bread, it's just almost in their genes. It isn't, but it's uh, brainwashed into their genes, so to speak, by their families. And of course the avocado is just a trendy thing that people do nowadays. Nobody used to eat avocados in Russia, obviously, <laughs> up until very recently. What's up, guys? It's a lunchtime. I'm starving. But I don't have much time because Allegra has a... Yeah, there you go. And uh, when people say in these videos, I'm starving, they really are in the sense that they're really hungry. And when you're hungry, it means that your body is eating itself. That's basically what hunger is. If you don't eat when you're hungry, then you start eating yourself and losing weight. And she goes through these cycles, obviously. She does lose weight here and there. It happens very slowly, but uh, that's how you get to a lower body fat amount. Well, I'm 30 minutes, so I really have to do something very quick. I love daily harvest. Daily harvest comes to the rescue when I really have those days that I don't have time to cook. So all I have to do is just basically add some broth to it and like a little bit stir it on the pan, that's about it. And this is, today is tomatoes with potatoes, wild rice, beans, avocado, and mitake mushrooms. So all of this both. Clean and healthy. Sounds completely vegan. All well, it's only 330 calories, which actually really low. And I don't watch calories ever, but just for the... Yeah, she's definitely underweight. Uh, it just doesn't look right, the body. She already has a child, but uh, I don't think that she would be able to get pregnant the way she is right now. She could be easily infertile. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. I burned my tongue. Okay guys, so this is my lunch. Sweet potato, wild rice, fava beans bowl. Mm, I'm so hot, but I can't wait. I'm so hungry. <sighs> rice, of course, has nothing. Really, all of it has nothing. Plants in general don't have over 15 micronutrients. So this is a bowl of starvation anyway. It is malnutrition, but of course, when it also has beans and rice, and it actually has anti-nutrients that mess with the gut and doesn't let you absorb other nutrients and so on. I just love the convenience of how fast it is, how healthy it is, and it's actually really, really delicious. What's healthy about it? Uh, just name one thing. Uh, <laughs> it's just a typical kind of brainwash. You simply blindly believe that uh, plants are healthy, and if a meal is made out of only plants, then it must be healthy. That's the kind of logic. I decided to have a little dessert. I love to test new chocolates. What's up, people? Welcome back to my kitchen. It's dinner time. I definitely have a vibe today. I was in the mood to light up the candles, pour myself a glass of wine, and just to get like inspired to cook because I was really close on canceling cooking and just like ordering in. It's gonna be a pan-fried salmon. On top there will be like a celery, onion, capers, kind of vegetable bed. Would you say this? Or a pillow? I don't know how would you say it correctly. It's a really, really, really delicious recipe. Probably one of my favorite recipes for salmon. I am obsessed with salmon. I always love salmon and I just like always look for different recipes of salmon. This one actually... It's probably her Russian ancestry and how she was brought up by her family in Russia, I assume, which is why she still eats some animal foods. Uh, she understands what is good for her. She wants a balance and this balance seems to be a mixture of what she should be eating and uh, the modern diet, such as a plant-based vegan diet combined. She probably got brainwashed when she moved to, I don't know, I assume she lives in the US. Salmon fillet, it's probably farm raised, but then again, she has money. She could easily buy wild caught fish, but it's also just generally hard to even find it. Celery, onions, um, quite toxic. Tomatoes, a nightshade uh, can be problematic. Capers, uh, the parsley is definitely a problem because that's the most toxic ingredient. Okay, grapeseed oil is also very bad for you. Very, very bad. There's a large amount of toxins in that oil. It's good that she's not pregnant because uh, if she would be, she could easily get a miscarriage with the parsley. It's actually very easy. The main reason anybody used to eat parsley in the past was to cause a miscarriage. Nowadays, people actually add it to their food, which is really funny when you think about where it comes from. Herbs in general are very toxic and are always used for similar uh, 
reasons. A little tip for celery, if you don't want to have like a very stiff kind of hard texture of a celery, there is like a hair, kind of, I call it a hair, basically a fiber that's on celery sticks. So I just like to remove them. Probably not the right knife, but I just like to... Well, she's probably gonna cook all of this stuff, so she's at least gonna destroy, neutralize the toxins, a little bit at least, which is good because celery causes a skin allergy to the sun, and it seems like she likes to go outside. It doesn't take you long to convince was one. It's a beauty of being married with me. True. Many years. True. <laughs> One of the many things we have in common is love for wine. Quite dangerous. Quite, uh -huh. quite dangerous. Cheers, honey. Cheers, Wine is high in uh, tenants. Um, the red one more so than the white one, from what I know, because it comes from the seeds and the skin where the toxins are in the grapes and what they do when you consume them long term is hinder the absorption of other nutrients. We have cut onions, we have a cut salad, It's a gut destroyer, essentially. We have tomatoes, and we will need also capers. So for frying, I always love to use grapeseed oil. I didn't think that she would use it for cooking. Wow. It has a very high burning uh, point, so that's why it's so good for frying. That's not true at all. Maybe she's using some uh, weird combination of oils or something, but grape seed oil alone actually has a lower burning point. Uh, it oxidizes at a lower temperature than uh, other oils. Strange. You don't want this in your body in general. Certainly not cooked and oxidized. It's just... onions because it has good it's a really nice and more of like a sweet taste to the fish so when you fry onion it really doesn't doesn't taste like onion which I like. Onions in general are quite poisonous but if you cook them then um, it's all right. Always add a, like a little piece of garlic to <laughs> when I cook fish or chicken or whatever but I never tell it to Valeria because he always tells me that the garlic tastes so strong and he can taste it for sure even so I think when the garlic is like pan fried you don't really taste it so that's literally what I mean, yeah. When you eat it raw, of course, it's incredibly strong. It actually burns holes in your gut because of how toxic it is. But if you cook it, then uh, you may neutralize um, most of them, but not all of them. When I tell him that I added it, he always tells me, oh my God, I can taste the garlic. If I don't tell him I added it, he never, he never ever identifies it. Just cook it to death as much as you can. Oh man, <laughs> it's really funny. She's cooking all of this uh, modern poisonous stuff. It really looks bad. And then uh, she drinks some alcohol. <laughs> okay, so this is the perfection. I okay, the fish definitely looks farm raised, I would say. And then it's good that she cooked it. And it's great that she cooked all of the other stuff also. They would be poisonous when they are raw, so now she simply eats them for taste. I also made a side of salad, which is with corn, arugula, tomatoes, avocado, dressed with olive oil, lemon. Okay, uh, I spoke too soon. I thought that she simply cooks all of the poisonous stuff, which is what she had on the fish, but... Uh, then she also made a salad, uh, and it's all raw, which is really going to destroy her gut. Uh. And salt and pepper. Super simple. Guys, this is my dinner. My husband is... Without a salad, it wouldn't really be so terrible. Like, watching some crazy action there. I'm off to cooking. I've oh, already cooked too, guys. <laughs> I'm off to eating. I really hope you enjoyed this cooking day with me. I always love to film this. It's really funny how people got brainwashed to believe that salads are healthy. Nowadays, when you hear the word salad, it equals health. It's good for you. But uh, salads are really one of the worst things you can possibly eat, except for drinking uh, uh, juice or smoothie made out of those ingredients, simply because you're gonna absorb them even better. With salad, all of the bad stuff is in the fiber, and seeing as we can digest fiber, we don't get so much out of it. If you would juice all of that stuff in the salad, you could actually get seriously sick from it. What I eat in a day, you love watching it, so it's kind of a win-win for boss. Please let me know what you think about this video down in the comments below. Let me know if you have any, any questions. I will be happy to answer all of them. Thank you guys. See you next video. Ching ching. All right. She seems kind of nice uh, compared to the women that usually appear in my videos, I would say, probably because she eats 
a somewhat better diet than them. She still has an eating disorder for sure. And of course she also has a child, which probably also makes her happier. Yeah, that overall makes sense, of course. Better diet. She has a husband, from what I understood, at least one child. Of course she should make more, but I don't even know if she would be able to right now. She would have to change her diet and stop eating the parsley, that's for sure. Which is why she probably generally seems um, happier, I guess, with her life in general. The breakfast, as I said, was really not too bad. The lunch was uh, pure malnutrition, essentially, just empty calories, carbohydrates. And uh, dinner was all right, except for the salad, uh, which she really has to stop. Uh, that could really very easily cause a miscarriage if she would ever get pregnant again. And it generally causes you to become infertile, which is why she should definitely leave that stuff out. Uh, thanks for watching.